Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing. And if you're back, welcome back. Today, I'm here with an unboxing from Oraloa. Oraloa is a company that offers a wide variety of legally licensed diamond paintings. They reached out to me a couple weeks ago and asked if they could send me a kit or two to take a look at just so I could see what they have to offer. I actually ordered a couple of kits from them back a year, year and a half ago. Uh, I'm not sure how long ago that was, when they very first launched, and they have made some updates and changes from what they have told me and what I have heard. So I said, sure, I'd love to try some of your kits. If you're curious, I'll link to the kit that I did complete for last year's drills and chills. It was super adorable. Um, down below, I did have some trouble with those square drills. So I'm, I've heard good things though about their new square drills. So fingers crossed, they decided to send me two kits. Um, one of them is this one here, which is Take Care by Laura Felipon and it's in rounds. And then this one here is uh, a Hannah Lynn kit, actually. Alicia and Aliana. And this one is in squares. I actually bought this kit <laughs> um, a year or so ago, but I got it in rounds. And so I think it would be interesting to do a comparison sometime, but it's rather big. So we'll see. Um, anyway, I'm going to start with take care and we'll do both in this, um, in this unboxing video. But first these did ship in two separate boxes. They did both get just a little bit crunched. You guys see the box on this one. Um, it shipped in just an outer cardboard box with a little bit of like paper uh, padding kind of stuffed in there. But hopefully since this is a poured glue kit, this won't have caused any damage. We'll be sure to take a look. This was included in one of the cardboard boxes as well. It's a thank you note. And they included a, they have these little like mini resin trays I've seen people post about. They have a Facebook group that I'm in. I'll link to that below as well. Um, so they included a roll of washi tape. Um, their website is in uh, French and in English. I think that you pick the language up at the top. It looks like they're partnering with Chua Sear and La Douceur d'une Plume. I've actually ordered from both those shops before. So some stickers. As you can tell, they have very much like a Hawaiian theme, a roll of washi tape, and then a fun 3D printed mini tray <laughs> keychain. That's super cute. Okay, let's take a look at this kit. Where are my scissors? said hopefully we are all good to go in here oh it's stuck on the tape where the tape was okay So on the outside of the box, we have the original artwork, the name, the artist. Again, this has been legally licensed. This is going to be 85 by 56 centimeters and has round diamonds. I'd have to go back and double check. I think that some of their kits, they offer multiple sizes to choose from. And I think most of their kits, they offer a choice between round and square diamonds. Um, I didn't specify with them necessarily. I was like, whatever, you know, sizes and diamond shapes you want to send to me is totally fine. Uh, and then we have all the branding on the box. Oraloa, their little ticky guy is everywhere um, and then their website and socials so let's let's see actually let me try the other end oh we have the um the artwork and the name on the end as well so however you store your boxes it's easy to to find find this particular kit all right Okay, so the canvas does not look at all damaged honestly probably at the other end is just where um uh, maybe there just there wasn't any kit is that was the easiest place for the box to collapse just a little bit I'm just gonna make sure there wasn't anything else down at this end of the stuck. Okay All right, so the kit and all the kit contents are safely protected in here And again, it doesn't look at all damaged like maybe a tiny bit squished here, but None the worse for the wear. So I am not too worried about that All right Ooh, look at those colors. <laughs> Aw, this image was just so cute. It was one of the first ones that I gravitated towards and I really like this artist. 
Okay, let me flip this sideways so we can fit and unroll. The the canvas material feels like it's a it's a soft lint material or a short lint. I always forget what the correct term for it is. Um, it's almost felt like on the back. Um, and they do use poured glue, which you can usually tell if there's a clear plastic cover like this one. It feels like a nice quality canvas as well. Oh, that's a sticker sheet. Okay, we'll look at that in just a second. There's our big bag of diamonds and a toolkit. Okay, we're gonna look at the diamonds in just a little bit. Let me show you what else is in here first. So, let's put this here. Uh, they've included a an info sheet that it looks like one side is in English and the flip side is in French. Uh, because they're based, I believe, in Canada, though I want to say they also have maybe a U.S. warehouse, so they can they could ship a lot of places. Uh, here's info. They tell you a little bit about like how to diamond paint and some info about Oraloa's kits specifically. It's always really beginner uh, helpful for beginners. I feel like to have something like that. It looks like we also have a toolkit included. Let me just show you what they've included in here. Look at how cute this artwork is. <laughs> I love it, it's so cute. She's just so cozy and she's got her kitty. I love it, and her messy bun. She's she's me. <laughs> so we have a basic pen here and it looks like there's a multi-placer on the end as well as an included um, a larger multi-placer if you wanna use that. And then we've got a pair of pointy tweezers. Let's keep that, that cover on those. We have a caddy with some blue wax. There's a thin plastic film on there, so be sure to peel that off before you try to load up your pen. We have a squishy for the pen as well to make it more comfy to use. And then a white boat. It's the Mosfa brand for those of you that care about the brand. <laughs> but this is everything you'll need to do your diamond painting. I feel like this is a like a, an intermediate slash beginner friendly size and round diamonds are usually really beginner friendly as well. So. Uh, that basic toolkit should do the trick. This was rolled up with the canvas, so I'm just gonna roll it backwards to help it be a little flat for us to look at. We're all just gonna fold it. This is all a sticker sheet. Um, and there's the original artwork and the artist and the name. Here's the size and the skew. And then over here we have a set of pre-cut stickers. So it looks like we're gonna have a total of 50 colors in this kit. And I see one, two, three, four, five ABs. ABs are a special kind of diamond that I will tell you more about when we're actually looking at the diamonds themselves. Uh, so the number on the right here, these are the same color code system as the DMC, uh, which is what they use in a lot of cross stitch and floss. I like that these are pre-cut as well, so that will make kitting up go really quickly if you like to kit up into storage containers or baggies like I do. Some of these symbols, I'm gonna take a look at the canvas, make sure we can read them pretty easily, but like there's some black print on a dark background that we'll take a look at just to be sure that they're legible on the canvas. Those are the only ones that I tend to worry about. But off the top of my head, I don't see any others that look too similar to one another. So that's good. Hopefully we won't have any that we mix up when we're actually working on the canvas. So this actually laid pretty flat on its own without too much help from me. But if you find that your canvas is wanting to curl up on the end like this one kind of is, if it's a poured glue canvas like this one, it is totally safe to roll backwards the opposite direction. That is one of two main ways to help it lay flat more quickly. Though, like I said, this was starting to lay flat pretty well on its own. So maybe it just needs a little bit more time. You can also put it under a mattress. Another way that can help, especially if you see what looks like, these are not actual wrinkles in the canvas or the glue. This is purely where just the plastic cover shifted in transit. If you wanna get that to lay flat, it shouldn't hurt your canvas whatsoever to leave it. But if it's bugging you just visually, you can peel back the plastic cover. I recommend going about halfway each direction and then gently roll it back down like this. That will help get rid of those wrinkles and will also help your canvas lay flat more quickly. So I'm just gonna do that because <laughs> visually, I think that that'll help. But you can see, looking at the canvas, there's no actual bubbles or wrinkles in the glue or the canvas. 
And if I remember right from the kit that I completed from Oraloa last fall, um, it did hold the drills really beautifully and turned out really well. So let me take you on a little tour of the canvas. So up here at the top, we have Oraloa's branding. The edges of the canvas, they're scalloped and they're finished. So you're not gonna have to worry about fraying, which is really nice. Again, they use port glue. And here's a legend up here at the top left of all 50 colors. We have the same legend over here at the bottom right, along with more about Orloa's branding and a note that it is licensed. The artwork is licensed. And this is an authorized distributor for Laure Philippons. So sorry if I'm mispronouncing that uh, for her artwork. So that means that this artist has both given permission for the use of their artwork and is being compensated for it. So um, I am all about companies that are doing right by artists like Orloa is. And I super, super appreciate that. Uh, they're transparent about it as well. So here's the thumbnail of the original artwork, the title, the artist, and the size. Here's their uh, little, their branding here, let your creativity sparkle. And then here's links to their socials. So be sure to check them out, including on Facebook and their Facebook group. And let's do a quick measurement and see if we are true to size on this one. I really am loving this artwork. I'm planning to work on this very soon because part of the reason they sent it to me is because they wanted me to um, share any feedback that I had. So I'd love to try out one of their new canvases. We are at 84 and a half centimeters and this is listed as 85. That's within the margin of error. So true to size that way. And then we are at, just measuring the drill field, 56, which is exactly what it's listed as. So this is true to size. And then taking a quick look at the symbols on the canvas as well, just to see, I wanna pick out some of those darker symbols just to see how clear we are. So sure enough, like these dots, this is actually printed very clearly, that black dot on a dark blue background. Yeah, it's definitely printed more clearly on the canvas than it was on the paper. So that's, that's what I care about, is what's printed on the canvas. Happy to see those printed really clearly. And the number six as well, that was another one I was worried about. It's the background itself is actually lighter than it appeared on the paper. So glad that, that is more than legible and very clear. The printing overall is really, really, really clear. I don't see any symbols that I'm like, mm. I'm afraid I'll mix that up. No, it looks great. It looks really, really great. The blues down here are a bit saturated, but it's not terrible. It's not that bad. The colors just kind of pop. <laughs> but that is the original artwork is very vibrant for you. So she's so cute. I love it. I actually really, really love this artist's artwork. I had a hard time deciding like, ooh, which are my favorites? <laughs> so here is our big bag of diamonds. Uh, let's take a look at some of these colors together. They're round, so you generally can worry less about how the quality, uh, the quality of rounds, they tend to be more um, reliable, I suppose, but I really wanna pull out some of these ABs to show you guys. So let me at least grab those. We had five in total, right? One, two, three, four, five, perfect, all right here. So here are our five AB colors. Now AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and these are named after the Northern Lights. Just like the Northern Lights have this really gorgeous color shift effect and kind of iridescent shimmery effect, that is the effect that we're getting from the special coating on these diamonds. So they're gonna sparkle even more than regular diamonds do. Uh, they reflect a kind of a variety of different colors and have kind of a color shift effect. Uh, the areas that these have been highlighted, it's gonna draw your eye to. It's gonna serve as kind of a highlighting effect. So I love that we get five in this kit and a lot of different colors. And I'm so glad we get like a bluish color. That'll be really, really nice. And that's so, 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 so striking. So there's our five AB colors, the blue, the white, the brown, and then the two shades of pink, kind of a hot pink and then like a coral peach. Uh, after we look at some of the other drill colors, I will show you where we will find these on the canvas. But first, let's take a look at some of these colors. Lots of shades of blue, of course, some browns and burgundies and grays. Now, I did notice that here on the front of the bag, so the number 11 corresponds with, oops, 
the number in the left column here, so like the actual number of colors. And then if you look, that small number under it, the 762, that is, or over here in the 10, we have that 676, that's the DMC color code. And the R0065 matches up with the, one of the like unit numbers for this kit. And then the 3.27 in tiny writing there, uh, that's by weight. These were distributed by weight. Now, it's nice that they come in Ziploc baggies. So if you're someone that actually likes to work out of baggies instead of kitting your diamonds up into storage containers, um, this is really convenient because then you just, you already have your baggies, they have labels on them and you're ready to go. I like to kit up into storage containers. Sometimes with Ziploc baggies, um, with drills and Ziploc baggies, I'll run into static every once in a while. So if you are trying to kit up out of these, or even if you're just working out of baggies and the static is driving you nuts, I recommend a um, cutting up a dryer sheet into small squares and just put a little square of dryer sheet in whatever bags are extra staticky for you guys. And that usually will do the trick. Lots of really gorgeous shades of uh, just really bright and happy colors in here. Pinks and purples and teals there. That is like a happy place for me color wise. <laughs> so the drill quality from what I can see seems to be very nice. I don't see a lot of trash or anything like that. Um, the drills look to be, you know, uniform in size and have flat bottoms on them so that they're not gonna pop or anything or fall off or anything like that. Uh, so I do really like what I'm seeing as far as these round diamonds go. Now I want to take a minute and find where these ABs are going to go with you guys. So um, we're looking for, let me find the symbols that these are going to go with. So um, we've got um, the zero and then the three triangles and then three other triangles <laughs> and then okay the pound sign okay let me see if i can do this in a an efficient way and then the check mark okay so let's start at the bottom and let me take a look. So right off the bat here at the very, you can't totally see, here at the very bottom, just kind of sprinkled throughout is there, that blue AB, I see a few sprinkled in there. And then a little bit of the check mark, which is the lighter pink AB, kind of like on some of these lighter parts of her leg and sprinkled through here as well. Some of that check mark, which is the lighter pink AB over here. And then we have, Let's see. I'm looking for five different ABs. I want to make sure I don't miss them. <laughs> um, looking to see if that blue AB is hiding from me anywhere. Not a lot here in the middle. Okay, there's just a little bit of the blue AB right here, sprinkled in here. And then. Let's see, a little bit of the check mark, which is the light pink AB right here. And then that brown AB, which is this AB here, um, is here in kind of the, these like feathers hanging from her hair. There's lots of that brown AB. I really, really love that AB placement. The brown you're seeing there, a little bit of the brown through her hair actually, there's a decent amount of that. That brown color you're seeing is an AB up at the top. Oh, you can't see it. Sorry, you guys. Uh, so there's brown AB all up in here and doing some highlighting in her bun and in her hair. The hot pink AB is here along the top of like the shawl or the blanket that she has draped around here. There's lots of that sprinkled throughout. And we have some of the blue AB actually doing just, it's very lightly sprinkled through some of the darker parts of the shawl that she's wearing. There's some of the lighter pink AB, the kind of coral. So both of these ABs, the lighter pink and the hot pink are kind of sprinkled throughout here on her. Does our cat friend have any ABs? Let's look. Um, we have lots of the blue AB over here on the side. There's a good bit of it. And there's actually a good bit of the blue AB back here as well. I tend to have a little bit of mixed feelings about lots of ABs in the background of a piece, but it could give it a really nice overall shimmery effect. I suppose, especially when you look at the original artwork. 
um, having kind of that blue shimmering in the background. So yeah, that could be really pretty. But yeah, these flowers up here, that's where we have a lot of both of those ABs and the browns in her hair. That's where we have a lot of the brown ABs. And then the white AB is in the cat's whiskers. That's super cute. On the top of the cat's head right here. A little bit in her glasses and on her nose and a couple on her forehead. And then up here in the top, is that? Yeah. So you have some more of the blue AB sprinkled through here. And loose drill. A little bit of the blue AB right up here and a couple up here as well. So this vibrant blue AB is kind of having a more like shimmery effect in the background. And then we have the white AB kind of in the kitty and in uh, the gal's like glasses and stuff. And then these two pink ABs were in a few different spots in her skin and then in kind of the top of the shawl that she's wearing. And then we have the brown AB, which was in her hair and in the feathers and whatnot dangling from her hair. So like the AB placement a lot. I think that's going to give it such a pretty shimmery effect. Um, oh, I missed. There's some of the hot pink AB sprinkled up in here as well. So yes, you guys, I think this artwork is so cute. I really am hoping to work on her soon because I'd like to share uh, some feedback with Orloa and see what it's like to work on one of their canvases now because it has been a little bit. Um, but I really do like what I'm seeing a lot. <laughs> I think the drills look great. I think this artwork looks adorable. I think the rendering looks really, really nice as well. And I'm very curious to see what this looks like worked up. So you guys, again, the name of this piece was Take Care. Uh, it ha this one I got in round drills, but it should be available in square as well. The artist is Laura Felipon, and it's 85 by 56 centimeters. And I think it was still in stock as of the time of this filming. So I'll add a link to it below. For now, though, I'm just going to shift this over to the side and we're going to look at the Hannah Lynn together. So let me grab that. And here we go with the Hannah Lynn. So this one actually, it is open on both ends. <laughs> the box itself, uh, the cardboard box that it shipped in was also open, but everything looks to still be sealed inside and, and be okay. But um, I am glad that it shipped with the additional outside cardboard box, but I would maybe be curious for them to I don't know, just double check on kind of their shipping process. This is super heavy because this one is large. This is very large. So uh, here's the name of it, Alicia and Aliana. Here's that original artwork. Of course, it has a dragon. It's by Hannah Lynn. I believe MGL is her licensing company. 95 by 75 centimeters. So big. There's all of Orloa's socials again. Now, in this part of the video, I'm going to skim past some of the things like uh, the different, um, like the canvas elements and the toolkit and stuff since we did just go through that together with the last kit. So if that is something that you're really wanting to see, I'm gonna gently ask that you go just rewind to earlier in the video and see me share about it um, with the first kit. So we do get the toolkit with all the same contents it looks like. And then this is a big one. <laughs> and in squares too. So the first one I got, they sent me in rounds. This one they sent me in squares so there was something i remembered going around about how um they used a black ab i think with a lot of the outlining in these hannah lynn kits and i'm so curious to see if that's what's been included in mine as well so um yes it does look like it is so anyway here is i'll, I'll get to that in just a minute and i'll explain uh, here's the original artwork and all the info this one actually came a little bit less wrinkled uh, same set of pre-cut stickers we're gonna have 65 colors and it looks like they put all the ab's at the end this time one two three four five six seven eight eight now um this 310 ab uh i bet we're gonna have a giant giant bag of that 310 ab in one of these bags so um well yeah <laughs> there it is bunch of 310 ab so hold on and i'll explain <laughs> but this canvas looks really 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 beautiful and from what i can tell of the rendering just glancing at this 
it looks so, so pretty. I really, really love that. Now, like I said, this is a large, large, large canvas, 95 by 75. I actually have a whole video dedicated to working on a really large canvas. So if you're looking for some tips and tricks for how to, um, maneuver around working a large canvas like this, how to kind of like organize your drills in a way that makes sense. Um, just if, especially if you're working in a small space, like I work in a small space, uh, how to work with large canvases. I will link to that video uh, down below in the description box. So yeah. Anyway, by the way, I'm going to say it right up front because I'm afraid some of you are going to see this and be like, oh my gosh, it's wrinkled. I am positive that this is just where the plastic cover has shifted. These are not wrinkles in the canvas. It's just where the plastic cover is not laying perfect. Yeah, it's just not playing perfectly flat. And so it's tugging a little bit at the canvas. No, this glue looks perfect. It looks perfect. So I am peeling back that plastic cover to help get rid of some of those wrinkles look at how cute this is now i have to admit i don't normally gravitate towards hannah lynn art but this one has a dragon and is so cute and i actually really really love all the colors in the background i've seen a couple of hannah lynn kits from oraloa completed and i think that they often look really really nice so oh my gosh <laughs> this looks so pretty uh we have all of the same elements on the canvas as we did on the first one so the branding at the top um the thumbnail it looks like is at the top right on this one so it's a little bit different maybe because of the size we still have the legend over here at the top left the same legend over here at the bottom right and it is laid out just a little bit differently they have some of the things placed in different spots um so they have like the artist's name down here and this you can't see <laughs> the artist's name and the size is down here as opposed to it was in the bottom left corner on the other canvas so um let's do a quick measurement see if this is our whopping 95 by was it 95 by 75 this is 95 by 76 actually so we're at 94 and a half. I'll consider that true to size. And then we are at 75. So I am gonna call that true to size, even though it's just a little bit short, it said 76. But you guys, in a painting this big, one centimeter is really, really not gonna make a difference. <laughs> now let's get up close. I wanna show you some of the drill field. And I also wanna point out to you, look for any of the spots that you see the black background with the white symbol. That black background with the white symbol, with the white dot, uh, that is gonna be our black AB diamond. Hannah Lynn's artwork has tons and tons of outlining. Look at all the black. <laughs> that black symbol, the white dot in her hair. Outlining the dragon, outlining the plants. The good news is the symbol clarity is really fantastic. Um, look at all these beautiful colors up here. Oh my goodness, I love it. Love it, love it. But yeah, all of those black background white dot symbols, which are outlining most of this painting, that's charted as a black AB. Now, the reason that this is a little bit of a question mark for me is because black ABs don't actually reflect black. Um, they reflect almost an oil slick color. I'll pull those out and, and we'll look at them together in just a minute. But um, I have a ton of black regular diamonds, like non AB 310 diamonds in my stash. So I'll probably try some of this with the black AB and see what I think. And if I'm not crazy about it, maybe swap it out for the regulars. But um, I think that in a piece like this, it might just work because the colors that are in that black AB that are reflecting on that sparkly coating on the top might actually really match a lot of the colors that are happening in this piece pretty well. And it could just make it look really magical. So I'm not going to say either way, like, yes, this is a great idea. No, this is not. Um, I think we just have to try it and find out. Let's look at the diamonds together. So we got two packages of diamonds. I really want to take a look at these squares to see how the quality is looking because the square kit that I worked on from them back in the fall I did have a little trouble with them now I could have contacted Oraloa and asked for replacements I chose not to just because it was a really little kit and I was able to pick out good diamonds and stuff like that but um okay 
So it looks like the numbering on these bags, we have the number 35, which I'm guessing matches up with, yep, the number in the left column on here and on the legend. So we have 35 dash and then 939 is the DMC. So uh, the bags look slightly different with these square diamonds, just so you know. I'm guessing the 57.82 is the ounces again. So these are in Ziploc baggies done by weight. And they look good from what I can tell. The bottoms are all flat. Like I said, my understanding was that they very quickly changed their square drill manufacturer shortly after launching. So while I got one of those original kits with the original square diamonds, what I had heard from other creators and other um, like friends was that they had said that they had switched manufacturers to a better quality of square diamond. So I am not seeing trash or tabs. I see a couple with little tabs sticking off the side in this bag, like right there. But I will say that most, if not all diamond painting manufacturers, you are probably gonna have some um, drills that just aren't perfect <laughs> in the mix. Like that's just part of it. Like you can see there's some in here that have some little bits sticking off the side. Um, these ones maybe make me just a little bit nervous, but I would have to probably work with them and see because sometimes they can look perfect in the bag and then they still pop once they're on the canvas. I think these still look better though um, because I remember the ones that I worked with before had a lot of like concave bottoms or like holes poked in the bottom. So I do think that these are an improvement. I'm not gonna pull out all of them because there are 65 colors, but I have to pull out these purples. How amazing are these purples? Those are so pretty. Such gorgeous and happy colors in this kit. Oh my goodness. Okay, these ones have some tabs. Yeah, these ones don't look as good. See kind of a lot of trash in there. Okay, let's take a look at those ABs because I'm really dying to show you guys what we're working with as far as the ABs go. And I believe all the ABs are in the other package. So, all right, tucked them in here. Oh, they actually just put them in their own package. Nice, that's actually, that's super convenient. So here's a quick look at the colors that were in this larger package. Look how happy those are. Oh my gosh, I love these colors. Very summery vibes. <laughs> like, should I get this up right now? It's currently summer. <laughs> so let's take a look at these AB diamonds. It's a lot. So first up we have Four giant bags. This is a 310 AB. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and just like the Northern Lights have a really pretty iridescent color shift on them, uh, so too do AB diamonds. And you can see that while the bases of these are black, this is a 310 base drill, um, the coating on the top is, like I said, almost oil slick. I see greens, blues, yellows primarily. And so it's not truly reflecting black. So this is why this is, I feel like, a really polarizing AB for a lot of diamond painters is because if you're wanting a black sparkle or if you want the artwork to actually be black, this is not the AB that you want. But in the case of this artwork, again, look at the colors happening in this kit. There are tons of greens and blues and yellows and purples, which is not a ton of purple in here, but maybe a little bit. Um, this really may just work, but I'll be curious to see how it looks in her hair primarily. That's probably the biggest question mark that I have, but that is one of our eight ABs. We have this gorgeous lavender AB. We have a white AB. That's a really nice neutral, actually. And then we have these amazing, vibrant, summery yellow, lime green, and orange ABs. And then we have a blue and a forest green. So a huge, huge variety of ABs in this kit. Let's take a look and I wanna see if I can find them. This is gonna be so tricky because this canvas is so big, but I'm gonna do my very, very, very best. So the black I already mentioned is basically all of the outlining in this kit. And then we have 
Let's see, so this white one is an arrow. Let's try to find the white AB, just a quick glance. Where are you hiding? So there's a little bit of it. Ooh, there's a good, oh, there's a bunch of it in her wings. Oh, that's perfect. A bunch of the white AB is actually in her wings. Do I have that right? Nope, that is not the white AB. That is the lavender AB. Hello. <laughs> the lavender AB, perfect tons and tons and tons of it in her wings that's going to be gorgeous a little bit sprinkled in her glove um a little tiny bit here and there sprinkled in the dragon like literally just a couple here a couple there in the lightest parts of the dragon and there's maybe a tiny bit of it up here in this oh there's a good amount of it up here in the sky actually so there's a bunch of the lavender ab up here in the sky arrow that's pointing to the left that'll be super pretty and then we have let's see what's next we have the black ab and then we have our we have our yellow and our orange and our green ab's let's try to find those so uh, the hourglass and the diamond and the star over here kind of in the plant you can't totally see it it's in a lot of the plant backgrounds those three colors the yellow the orange and the green um where you're seeing kind of the most vibrant colors again of the yellow and that lime green um that's where you're gonna find those colors we have a little bit in the dragon's eyes we have the yellow ab here in the dragon's eyes just want to make sure i was looking at the right symbol again a lot of the background we have the yellow the orange and then some of the green ab as well is up here and then a bit in the top we have a bunch of the green AB kind of in these brightest spots, a little bit of the yellow, and the green and the yellow. So kind of just giving that shimmery effect in the background. And then this forest green AB is again, yeah, it's sprinkled throughout the background. It's hard to actually really narrow down and pinpoint to you guys the specific places you're gonna see it, but like the darkest green that you're seeing like in these plant stalks, um, some on the bottom a little bit as well, there's a little bit of it. Under the dragon's head actually right here, there's a bunch of the dark green AB. Outlining under her legs, there's a bunch of the dark green AB. That's this one here. And then a bit, yeah, it's just sprinkled. The AB placement in this kit is designed to give it just an overall really shimmery and beautiful effect. Uh, and then this blue AB, there's the white AB as well. Um, the white and the blue ABs, there's a bunch of it in the water down here at the bottom. Yeah, there's a bunch of the white and the blue kind of weaving throughout the bottom. And then the dragon's claws and his little horns. Those are the white AB. That's super, super cute. We have some of the blue AB in her skirt. And yeah, in, the, in some of the background, I see a little bit of the blue AB sprinkled throughout again as well. And then... Her eyes, the centers of her eyes, the sparkle in her eyes are the white AB. And then just a tiny sprinkling of the blue AB, some of the lighter blue areas you're seeing um, in the top. We have a little bit of sprinkle of the blue AB. So eight ABs and a lot of ABs, especially that black AB, this piece is going to shimmer and sparkle. It's gonna be so, 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 so pretty. So you guys, this is Alicia and Ariana. <laughs> Alicia and Aliana. I must said Ariana. I'm like, huh? no, not the singer. Uh, this has 65 colors. It's pretty big at 95 by 75 centimeters. The square diamonds do look to be better than the square diamonds that I worked with last time. So I'm optimistic that these will be um, better to work with. And I think that this is going to look really, really stunning once it's completed. So I shared these two kits with you today, this Alicia and Aliana, and then Take Care. This was from Hannah Lynn and then from Laura Philippon. And I have to say that I really do like the look of both of these kits and I'm excited to get to work on both of them. A huge thank you to Aura Loa for sending these over to me so that I could uh, take a look and share them with you guys and show you what Aura Loa kind of has to 
offer and what you can expect as far as if you order a kit from them. I will try to work on one of these or both of these soon so that you can actually see how they look finished and I can let you know what it's like to actually work on one of these kits. But I really tried to give you a completely transparent and authentic opinion from me, even though these were sent to me. I really, really value that honesty and giving you guys a sense for truly what to expect, at least from what I have been sent. So let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I would be happy to help. Thank you again to Oraloa for sending this over. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, would you mind giving it a thumbs up before you head out? And of course, if you're not already subscribed and want to see lots more diamond painting content here, including my eventual work on these projects, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you. Thank you so much, my friends. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.